Scholars, today I am in Central Park in New York City. Central Park is in the Metro New York and Long Island region of our state and is over 350 miles away from Buffalo. If traveling by car, that trip would take you over six and a half hours. Central Park is an 843 acre green space within the sprawling metropolis of Manhattan Island. Surrounding Central Park are skyscrapers, enormous tall buildings that Manhattan Island is famous for. When visiting Central Park, you will see that this area area is covered in rocks. These rocks are called bedrock. This bedrock is incredibly hard and dense, containing beautiful minerals like quartz and bauxite. Layers of this bedrock stretch out across Manhattan. It's part of the reason why this island can support so many large, heavy skyscrapers. These layers of bedrock are mostly underground, but in some places, pieces of the bedrock are visible. These kinds of rock formations are called outcrops. I will show you several outcrops now across Central Park, and I want you to tell me what they have in common. Ready? Did you notice that each of these outcrops seem to have scratch marks on them? These striations run along the surface of every outcrop in Central Park, pointing in the north to south direction. I want you to think of these carves as a kind of fingerprint marks that were etched into this bedrock thousands of years ago, when this land looked completely different and much colder. Let me show you. Scholars, this is the land of New York State 20,000 years in the past. At this point in history, this land was covered in large sheets of ice called glaciers. Glaciers form when it snows in an area for more than a year. As snow continues to fall, its growing weight presses down on itself, turning that snow into ice. When a glacier gets large enough, it will start to move. The movement of glaciers can radically change the surrounding landscape, and it was a moving glacier called the Laurentide Ice Sheet that carved itself into Central Park's bedrock. The Laurentide Ice Sheet was over two miles high, and it once covered the entire New York State area. All the major landforms throughout our state owe their shape to this glacier. Exploring Central Park is an exciting reminder of this past. If if you ever find yourself here, make sure to look for these glacial fingerprints pressed into the land to remind us about what came before, the mighty forces that shaped and continue to shape the ground we stand upon.